All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here. And today, uh, me, Jack, Pappy, and um, my little sister are going. Um, we're going to go squirrel hunting today. Um, we're probably going to go over there. All that might go back there and do some. But hopefully, we can get some squirrels for you guys, and might do like uh, show you how to clean the squirrels too if we get them. So stay tuned. Let's go get some squirrels. All right, guys. So we just got back, and um, me and Jack to get squirrels, but Pappy got two. He got. Uh, Pretty big fox squirrel right here. You can tell he's a fox squirrel because they're like a reddish color and they're a lot, lot bigger than gray squirrels. And this is a smaller gray squirrel right here. Um, so I'll show you guys how to clean these and hopefully you can learn something today. All right, so we're gonna take, which knife we're gonna take? I'm gonna take this knife right here. Um, let's do, this one's gonna be hard, so let's do this one first. Um, so you take this, Jack, grab it. I need you to grab right there. And we're going to cut. Right behind the back. You got to grab a little bit tighter. And pull up and grab. There you go. I can feel his BBs in his back. Yeah. Grab that. Right. Fox squirrels are way tougher than the other squirrels. And you grab them. And you rip them. As far as you can, dang, they're pretty hard, especially the fox squirrels. <coughs> all right, so we got all the skin off, we got the head, the arms, and legs off, uh, the tail off. So now we're gonna gut it. So what you wanna do? Just take um, a little cut all the way up. Keep cutting all the way up past the um, rib cavity. Right about there. And you want to reach in there. And there's a little spot where all the guts are connected. I'm going to cut that off. Don't cut your finger. You rip all the guts off like that. Get them in as something to hold them in. If there's any like extra like guts like this. And she, after you get it all out, it should look something like that. All right, the, all that is blood clotting from the bl um, blood clotting up. Looks like jam. Yeah. That's what the blood does. And you take your kind of that blood out, dip it in something. You gotta let it soak, right? You wanna get the blood off a lot of the blood off first. Before you let it soak. And you'll be able to tell a lot more that needs to be out, like all that needs to be cut out. So it looks something like that as a finished product, and then you need a little bit more trimming on the sides and stuff. But anyways, that's what you do. So thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe.